Congress veteran Mani Shankar Iyer's daughter has come out with what can be seen as questioning of why the Ram Temple was constructed and looks like a hate rant. Now, this is what uh, Suranya Iyer has said that she's anguished by the Ram Mandir. As an Indian, as a Hindu, she feels complete anguish. She's the daughter of uh, Congress senior leader Mani Shankar Iyer. Hinduism not about celebrating wrong and this remember is a, a lengthy a, a lengthy uh, essay sort of on social media site she's written a, put a long post on the ram mandir expressing my uh, love for mughal heritage she's basically stating that mughal heritage is so precious and yet instead it was all demolished and then there was this ram mandir that has been made polluted in a material sense with the forthcoming event in Ayodhya on January the 22nd. The atmosphere here in Delhi, already famous for being polluted in a material sense, has thickened to a spiritually poisonous and unbreathable concentrate of Hindu chauvinism, malice and bullying. I am deeply anguished by all this as an Indian and as a Hindu. And after thinking hard about what I can do, I have decided to go on a fast starting tomorrow, Saturday the 20th, and ending on Tuesday the 23rd, a day after the January 22nd production at Ayodhya. The Ram Janmabhumi agitation was such a lie when it claimed to be fighting 500 years of Hindu Golami. Mughal rule was nothing like that. It was about the ambitions of kings and conquerors and neither Hinduism nor Islam played any other than an ancillary role in all this. Except for Aurangzeb, none of the Mughals were very observant. So whatever you say about the pain of Mughal invasion, it did not give birth to centuries of Hindu repression or enslavement. It gave birth to a beautiful culture that took nothing away from Hindu religion or Hindu culture. We are not talking about a state policy of conversion to Islam. We are not talking about mass building over of temples with mosques. While such things did occur, both before, during and after the Mughals, it was not the policy of the Mughals to convert Hindus or to build temples or to break temples in India. In fact, they built temples, patronized native arts, and many of them, like Akbar, made huge efforts in stopping religious prejudice persecution and maintaining communal harmony here. So it clearly looks like if Mani Shankar Iyer was known to stir the hornet's nest all this while, now the daughter has taken that position. Let's go across to Rahul Gautam for the latest on that. Rahul, good morning. Now, clearly we've known Mani Shankar Iyer say a lot of things, a lot of statements that has ruffled a lot of feathers. But for the daughter, Suranya Iyer, to now come forth and literally praise Mughal heritage, and not be happy at all with Ram Mandir. What has led her to say this? Has she been putting up, putting these statements uh, earlier as well? And do you think this is what the BJP may just jump to now, of course, connect? Well, good morning, Pooja. You rightly pointed out that, uh, uh, you know, as far as BJP is concerned, it's an apt opportunity given the fact that they've been mobilizing people uh, uh, you know, for Ram Temple and uh, uh, this monologue, which uh, has been described by Jankura RWA, uh, uh, you know, uh, they are saying that residents came forward uh, themselves and, and, and complained against Suranaya Ayer, saying that uh, that she, in fact she had resorted to, uh, you know, uh, spread hatred and in fact uh, she had insulted uh, the sentiments of uh, Hindu community and that's why uh, this uh, this notice has been served to uh, Suranaya. You can expect that. Uh, uh, there's going to be a huge political row uh, over this issue given the fact that we all know that how Congress party had earlier boycotted, uh, in fact, um, maintained a distance from uh, Ram Temple ceremony and uh, uh, inauguration ceremony. And now you have, uh, a, you know, a monologue that was posted on, on Facebook wherein uh, Suranaya, uh, daughter of Mani Shankar Iyer, you rightly pointed out, again a controversial leader, uh, you know, she said that she's going to keep a fast for three days and in fact, she said that uh, whatever ha what is happening is a manifestation of uh, majoritarian politics that is happening in our country. Uh, so you can expect that it is certainly going to escalate. Both the political parties or, or, or many political parties are certainly going to jump into this. 
uh, you can expect that Congress party is also likely to uh, comment Correct. on this issue. And you can also and highlight so, this one. Uh, it appears that she even was on a fast for some days in protest of the Pran Pratishtha ceremony. So she was very clear on this and at this point, remember, because it's a sensitive issue and there was a lot of praise for Ram Mandir, but now Suranya Iyer putting her point. She may not be a politician, but she's the daughter of a Congress veteran and that's where, of course, political showdown is going to come in.